What is up bodyweight exercise fans? In today's video we're going to talk again about rep ranges, specifically which is the best rep range for beginners. And as a beginner here, I'm referring to anyone that has been training for less than a year. In the previous video, I gave you a general idea of rep ranges, which are the best ones and how to use them when you're advanced, beginner. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit more specifically and see how all this information applies, especially to bodyweight training. The best rep range to focus on as a beginner is the 6 within 12 rep range. Now this is, if you had to pick basically one rep range, this would be it. It has an ideal ratio of high intensity and metabolic stress, two of the most important mechanisms for muscle growth. And on top of that, you know, it, it's an ideal time under tension for you to focus on the exercise, use good technique, while also using high intensity. Because when you're working on lower rep ranges, you know, especially as a beginner, when you don't have a lot of ex experience, it's difficult to focus on technique. You know, lower rep ranges are more, more explosive, more intense, more fast, and higher rep ranges are too fatiguing. So once you start getting tired, uh, with high rep ranges, it's difficult to keep, maintain your focus on technique uh, and mind to muscle connection and all these things that as we have talked about in the previous videos are so important for muscle growth. To get started, you want to pick an exercise and start anywhere within four and eight repetitions. I know I said six within 12 is the ideal rep range, but you know, uh, in the beginning, you're gonna gain your first two reps pretty fast. So, you know, if an exercise is too difficult for you and you can only do like four to five reps, don't worry, you can start with those as long as you focus on getting uh, stronger and getting to that sixth rep within one or two weeks. Uh, if even four repetitions are too difficult for the exercise you wanna do, what you wanna do here is find a regression of the exercise. So let's say you are doing pull-ups, try doing assisted pull-ups with a band or try doing one rep at a time so do one pull-up leave yourself down on your feet relax do another one relax do another one do another one until you can do four and slowly try um, connecting those reps together so that's one example of uh, finding a regression for an exercise you know every exercise has its own regressions push-ups for example you can do them on a more incline level another thing you can do in order to make sure you can get at least four to six repetitions to get started with your exercise is don't go crazy on uh, doing the exercise too slow i know i recommend doing your exercises slow focused and all that but in the beginning it's okay to have like a one to one second um, uh, duration as you're doing your repetition so for example uh, when you're doing the negative phase count one second and when you're doing the positive phase of an exercise count one second again these are also called eccentric and concentric phases uh, an example would be again if you do pull-ups you know uh, pulling yourself up is the positive phase or the concentric phase as it's called and going down is the eccentric phase. Now, uh, if you're counting one second up and one second down, that's good enough as long as your technique is good. And another thing you can also do here is decrease a little bit the range of motion. So with pull-ups, you know, you don't have to go all the way bring the bar all the way to your chest, that's what I like to do, as long as you bring the bar somewhere around your uh, nose level, that's good enough when you're getting started, you know, here, as long as the basic, the core of your technique is good, and it doesn't matter, you know, uh, when you're getting started, you can make little adjustments like these until you can start getting the exercise with more, with better technique, with bigger range of motion and all that. Now, if during your first year, you reach that 12 rep range limit and you're like, okay, you told me to focus within six and 12, but I can already do 12 repetitions. I can do 12 pull-ups pull easily uh, and they're not challenging anymore. How do I stay within that rep range? Well, that's a good question. For starters, for the upper body, there are three really quick tips I can give you here. Number one is making the exercise slower, as we said previously. So now that you can do the reps easily, what you can do is uh, when you're bringing yourself up, again, focus staying on within one to one and a half second. And when you're going down, you can increase here the time uh, under tension more. So you can count two or even three seconds. So you know, pull yourself up one about one second or one and a half and go slowly downwards. This way you can focus more on mind to muscle connection. You can um, 
work on perfecting your technique you can minimize any kind of momentum that your body might be using you know you you basically want to do the exercise as smooth as possible because i see a lot of people you know they go up and down and they're taking advantage a lot of their elastic or uh, basically of the elastic um, capacity that your muscles have so when your connective tissue when you're going down for example in a pull-up and you you go again really fast upwards it, that creates sort of like a suspension effect so uh, all these things rob you for mind to muscle connection muscle activation uh, so go slower here and you know focus on as much as possible on the perfect mind to muscle connection on the muscle contractions all the muscles that are working I've made videos on these topics I'll link them above and the other thing you can do as well second tip here is increasing the range of motion so you know go deeper with push-ups if your shoulders allow that if you have good shoulder mobility go higher with pull-ups bring the bar onto your chest uh, you know increase the range of motion as much as possible without of course compromising your technique and the third tip that I'm going to give you here is pause halfway so for example again pull-ups when you bring yourself up on the top position you want to pause for about one second and give your muscles a good squeeze you know keep your shoulders back and down and give your basically your back a good squeeze uh, another exercise you can do this with for example our push-ups where when you're on the lower position uh, when you're close to the floor pause again for a brief moment for about you know one second is enough or even half second uh, this eliminates as we said the suspension effect and keeps all the tension on the muscles so these tips apply mostly on upper body exercises for lower body exercises what you can do is slowly add plyometric exercises so you know add a jump to your exercise I talked about this in detail in the lower body exercise that I just did and damn that's noisy <laughs> back to our topic so you can add a jump you can um, make that jump higher so you know if you're if you're already doing plyometrics and you can do 12 reps easily focus on getting as high of a jump as possible so those were all my tips for today i hope they make sense for you ask me any extra questions that you might have in the comment section below i always enjoy talking with you especially during the first 48 hours of releasing a video i make sure that i answer everybody so make sure that you leave a comment as fast as possible um check out my new book i just released it a week ago i'm pretty excited about it um it's doing pretty well on Amazon uh, and until next time, keep on training.